Hello, this is Jim McKeith, Developer Evangelist for RimObject Software. I wanted to show you the new template wizard in Data Abstract for Delphi. You will notice under the Data Abstract project type is the VCL application icon. This will launch our new template wizard. The template wizard includes a number of new options that were previously not available. The first project type is to create a client for Relativity Server. If you're not familiar with Relativity Server, it is a pre-built, reusable server recently introduced with Data Abstract. It serves as your middle tier, making data publishing easy, so you can focus on your client application development. If you have an existing custom Data Abstract server, then you'll want to choose the second option to create a new client. This is great when you want to add a new, different client to your existing architecture, or if you are connecting to a server created by somebody else, or with a different edition of Data Abstract. Both of these two options obtain the schema information from the middle tier instead of the database. The third option is similar to the old wizard. This creates a new custom server and a client forward at the same time. So you specify a connection to the database, and the schema will be built based on that database, and then your client and server are built based on that schema. The last option is an interesting twist on a data abstract application. Instead of having a separate middle tier, this creates a single monolithic client that contains the schema and database connectivity. This effectively creates a client-server application, but lets you take advantage of the powerful and familiar features of Data Abstract, including schemas. To start with, I'm going to create a client for Relativity Server. Since my Relativity Server is running on the local network, the wizard discovers it via ZeroConf. The next thing I need to select is the domain, each domain is an individual Data Abstract server instance within the single Relativity server. If the domain you want is not already defined, then you can click the Start Admin tool to launch the Data Abstract Administration tool and define the domains and schemas you want. I'll go ahead and select the first domain here. I also need to provide the username and password necessary for connecting to the domain. This is because all of the schema information is obtained via the connection to the server. This is great if you are connecting to a server that is hosted elsewhere and you wouldn't otherwise have access to the database. Now we are connected to the domain and have enumerated the schema and tables. I need to select any tables that I want strongly typed data tables created in my client application for. We can change our data streamer for the data transfer, or we can stick with the recommended bin2 data streamer, which is what I'll do. Finally, we give our project a name and optionally specify a location for the project. At this point, we are presented with the familiar T-Form canvas. We have the data abstract logo to let us know we have all that data abstract goodness behind the scenes, and we can see that on the data module here. Let's go ahead and add a DB grid to the form and connect it to our data source that Data Abstract has already set up for us. Of course, one of the great things about Delphi development is we get design time data. So let's go ahead and load up some data. We just hop on over to the data table and with a right click, specify Get Design Time Data. From this dialog, we need to provide the login credentials necessary to connect to the Relativity server and retrieve the data. We can do that one of two different ways, either with a logon string via the login EX method, or with the login method, we can specify the individual parts of the login string. I'll go ahead and use the logon EX method and specify a login string. Now we jump back to our form and we see that Data Abstract has connected to the middle tier, so we now have live data in our form. Also notice that all our columns are already customized with correct width, visibility, and display labels. All of that information is defined in the schema on our middle tier for us. Gotta love that. If you are like me, then at some point you have had design time data turned on, ran your application, and gotten an error about being unable to perform an operation on an open data set. Data Abstract helps you out there too. We realize that usually when you set a data table to active, you just want that for design time, so it doesn't store that active state by default. If you want to store it though, then simply specify the store active property. 
When our application runs, we just need to log on and open the table. We could use the provided login form, but I'll just hard code the login real quick. And now we run the application, and there is our data being pulled from the remote middle tier and database. It's all really cool and simple. The operation of the other wizards is pretty similar. I encourage you to download the latest update of Data Abstract for Delphi and try them out. Until next time, this is Jim McKeith, and you've been watching RimObjects TV.